Hello, I'm back with another video. I'm called Tasha and today I'm going to share the word of the Lord with you. Now, before we go to the word of the Lord, I would love us to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that you brought us together at this time and I thank you for the listeners of this word. And I pray as I minister your word to your people, I pray that you may be able to give them deeper understanding of your word in ways that I cannot do on my own. And I pray, King of Kings, that you may take over this session. May you be able to touch their lives. May you be able to minister unto them in ways that will be able to transform their lives, even in the smallest bit of ways. Because I know you are a God who works things in progress and I believe that you are doing a new things in the lives of your people. And Lord, whatever it is that people are trusting you for, Lord, I call upon your name that may you reach them at whatever point of need that they have in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that I pray and believe. Amen and amen. So today's word is going to come from the book of Hebrew chapter 11 verse 6. It says, and without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who seek him. Some scriptures, some some versions say that those who diligently seek him. We we'll call this topic seeking him or the things that he can give now recently the lord has been dealing with me over this like i've been literally having conversations concerning this with him and uh, i'm not the only one i believe going through situations like this because everyone in life has things that are prey upon it, whether you are well off or you are not well off whether you are just as long as you're breathing there are things that you're trusting God for there are things that you hope that that will change in your life so it came to a point that I I was seeking God let me just break it down a little bit I was seeking God some time back like like last year yeah I was seeking God diligently over something seeking God to get that thing so i kept on praying and praying and praying and uh, i realized that the way i was going about it that is by the end of it because eventually the lord gave me what i wanted not what i wanted but according to his will because i kept on praying only if it is according to his will that he should release whatever it is i needed so the Lord gave it to me. Then I sat down and realized like I had wasted a massive, how do we call it? A huge part of my time praying over this thing. And that time, if I would have used it correctly, I would have used that time to even pray over for something else. Not something else exactly, but I would have, I would have been in a better place if I would have used that time to seek him personally. Now this brings me now to the topic. Where are you going to see are you going to seek him or the things that comes with him? First of all, when I talk about seek him, most of us you know you come before God and you pray. And if you are honest with yourself, you know you did not come looking for him like you came looking for something most of us when we come before god we have an agenda we have a plan or we have something that we, we are targeting but most of the time it's never like we come targeting him like it's him that we want because i don't know the devil has just made situations to be like that with humans like we are just clouded with things that we want. And uh, I realized that God is not somebody who can, who, can, uh, who can force himself on people. Like if the only thing that will bring you to him are things, then he will deal with you at that level. 
you will be praying, waiting for those things to come, you get them, you give your testimony, oh, the Lord has done this and that. But did you really meet with the Lord? Did you really encounter Him? Because it reached a point in life where now you, you look at life like if we are supposed to be directed by Him, and all we do is come before him with things that we want. And we do this consistently. Like every day, we literally come before him telling him we need this, we need that. We call on you to do this for us. We call on you to come through in this angle. But not one point do we honestly come before him like, I know these things are important, we need them. But I need you to come. I need you. You personally. And uh, the moment you will realize that you're wasting your time. And it is a cycle that the enemy uses to keep you from reaching your destiny. Or fulfilling your purpose on earth. Then you will change your prayer points. You will stop praying those selfish prayers that people as the way others see it. And you will begin to pray in accordance to his will. And you will begin to seek him. The scripture tells us that he did not call us to seek him in vain. And it also tells us that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. That was according to Hebrew. I think I already read it. <clears throat> that in Hebrew 11 verse 6 he says he is, he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him he did not say he is a rewarder of those who seek things from him or who come with expectations of what they want the Lord to do we do that over and over and it's not a good thing. It's like somebody always coming to you. Literally, if somebody would always come to you and is telling you, oh, I need this, I need that. I need this and need that. Even if it's a friend or, or a family, at some point you feel like, this person is not interested in knowing who I am, like me in person. They're only interested on what I can give them. And God is not going to force himself into your life. He will just deal with you at that level. So my, I hope I've driven my point home that at least as a believer, begin to seek the Lord. By seeking him, I mean literally, let it be that he is the goal of your pursuit. Like you're not pursuing other things more than you're pursuing him. Because you will waste your years, you will waste your time. And and seeking these other things, yes, you might seek them, you might seek that he would give you those things. But looking for him specifically comes with a lot of peace. You get a lot of peace from him that you'd never get if you, you were just after the things. Because you pray today for that thing, tomorrow you pray again. And it just goes like that until maybe he answers that prayer or he gives you an answer in a different way. But if you are seeking him, you know if you're seeking a person and he becomes present in your life or if he comes in your life or if you encounter him, do you know a lot of things will change in your life? But we are never patient to go through the process of seeking him. We are more after things... And sometimes you get tired along the way. Like sometimes I get tired too, but I keep on pushing. Although, let us just make our goal be here. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.